dear friends so in this video we will discuss about the functional units which is the the first topic of the first unit of the computer organization and microprocessor so before going to that our content we will uh, see a thirukural purivayil aindavithan poidir olukka neri nindrar needu vaalvar kural en 6 Uh, the reputation of those who follow the true moral code of the pure who controls the sense of mouth eyes nose and ears body will be sustained that mean yaar oru var thanad udaminudaiya aindu purigalaiyum adanal erpadakoodiya thiye ennangalai adaiki vaalgiraro avargal கடவுளின் ஒழுக்க நெறியை பின்பற்றி நீடு வாழ்வார் என்பது இந்த திருக்குறளின் அர்த்தமாகும் ஸோ வித் தி ஸ்கோட் வி வில் ஸ்டார்ட் அவர் செஷன் ஸோ தி கோர்ஸ் அவுட் கம் ஆஃப் தி ஃபஸ்ட் யூனிட் ஒன் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் அப்ளை தி வேரியஸ் அட்ரஸிங் சீம்ஸ் தி லேர்னிங் அவுட் கம் ஒன் இஸ் ஹாவ் இன்சைட் ஆன் functional units of computer the specific outcome is to understand about the functionality of different parts of basic computer so different parts mean there are five functional units uh, parts uh, one is input then output memory arithmetic and logical unit and control unit so we have to discuss about these five units in this lecture video so before going to that what is computer organization so computer organization refers to the operational units and their interconnections that realize the architectural specifications it describes the function of and design of the various units of digital computer that stores and process the information so what is computer hardware so the computer hardware consists of electronic circuits displays magnetic and optical storage media electromechanical equipment and communication devices facilities which are the physical part of the computer then what is computer architecture it is concerned with the structure and behavior of the computer it includes the information formats the instruction set and techniques for addressing memory so yes set so in computer there are five main parts input unit memory unit arithmetic and logical unit output unit and control units so this is the block diagram of the computer functional units so the input and output unit is connected together as called io unit then the processor is nothing but the uh, alu and control unit then memory so here we can see through an example so here this is the processor right cpu so inside this cpu there is a motherboard so in that motherboard there will be alu and control unit then uh memory also inside the uh, cpu right then this is the output unit monitor then speaker then uh, printer also the output unit input units are the keyboard and mouse sorry right? so there is a one device called fax so this fax unit can be used as input device as well as the output device so the input unit accepts coded information from human operators from electromechanical devices such as keyboards or from other computers over digital communication lines the information received is either stored in the computer's memory 
for later reference are immediately used by the arithmetic and logic circuitry to perform the desired operations the processing steps are determined by a program stored in the memory finally the results are sent to back to the outside world through the output unit so all the actions are controlled by the or governed by the control unit the list of instructions that performs the task is called a program usually the program is stored in the memory right the processor then fetches the instruction that make up the program from the memory uh one after another and perform the desired operations so the input device the input unit so the computer accept the coded information through input units which read at the data the best example for the input uh, device is the keyboard so whenever a key is pressed the corresponding letter or digit is automatically translated into its corresponding binary code and transmitted over a cable to either the memory or the processor so these are the some uh, basic uh, input devices joystick trackballs mouse microphones so the microphone captures the audio input and it is sampled it is converted into digital codes for storage and processing then the memory unit so the memory unit stores the program and data there are basically uh, two types of storage classes primary and secondary so the primary memory is the fast memory that operates at electronic speeds program must be stored in the program memory way memory while they are being executed the memory contains large number of semiconductor storage cells each cell carries one bit of information that is called bit the cells are processed in group of a uh, fixed size called words to provide easy access to any word in a memory a distinct address is associated with each word location right so addresses are numbers that identify successive locations like our uh, house number door number the number of bits in each word is called the word length the word length ranges from 16 bit to 64 bits right there are three types of memory there are ram random access memory cache memory main memory right so the random access memory in which any location can be reached in short and fixed amount of time and specifying its address is called ram so the time required to access one byte is called memory access time then second one is the cache memory so this is the very small fast ram units are called cache so they are tightly coupled with the processor to achieve high performance then main memory the largest and slowest unit is called the main memory the secondary memory includes the uh, magnetic tapes optical disk right the uh, rom also the alu so the most computer operations are executed in alu right they consider an example if suppose if we want to uh, add two numbers which are located in memory so they are brought into the processor and the actual addition is carried out by the alu the sum may be stored in the memory or retained in the processor for immediate use so the access time to register is faster than access time to the fastest catch unit in memory so uh, this is a so this diagram is a motherboard so in this motherboard the processor is there a ram unit is there a control control processing units are there then supporting co processors are available in the motherboard so this my entire motherboard is called as uh, uh, alu and control unit then output unit so its function is to send the processed results to the outside world example printer speaker etc these printers are capable of printing 
then control unit the operations of input unit output unit alu are coordinated by the control unit the control unit is the our nervous system that sends control signal to the other, other units and senses their states the data transfers between the processor and the memory are also controlled by the control unit through timing signals for the operations of computers are the computer accepts information in the form of programs and data through an input unit and stores it in a memory the information stored in the memory is fetched under program control into an arithmetic and logical unit where it is processed the processed information leaves the computer through an output unit so all these activities inside the machine are directed by the control unit so these are the few uh, functional units of computer please list out so what are the input devices are there output devices then alu control unit right then memory types of memory so this is one of the activity for you so the summary of this video so in this video we have discussed about the five functional units input output memory alu and control unit then operations of computers so this is the very fundamental topic so if you have any doubt please contact me right through my whatsapp number and email id thank you friends